I slipped into the restroom of the local diner and hoped the owner didn't notice me. I hadn't purchased anything because my meager budget wouldn't even extend to a cup of coffee, but the smells were making my stomach grumble in hunger. Last night's ramen hadn't filled the hole, and I'd give my left arm for pancakes and bacon, dripping in syrup. But this life wasn't forever, and this job would get me back on my feet. That was the mantra that kept me going when all I wanted to do was fall apart most days. But that wasn't a luxury I could afford. I sighed, pushing the thoughts aside and applying the last coat of mascara to my eyes in the cracked mirror of the diner bathroom. I looked a little pale, but I was naturally very fair, so hopefully the little blush I applied would be enough of a disguise. The fitted gray dress I wore had a tiny red belt around the middle, and I'd paired it with black pumps. I looked good, or at least as good as you could when you were living out of your car. The last few months had been horrendous, and if I let myself think about it for too long, I'd crumble. But this job was my way out. My new beginning, and it would be all my own doing. I'd meet with the CEO today and work my magic, and finally put my degree to good use, by helping them identify potential data risks. Giving myself one more glance over, I smoothed my hair into a sleek ponytail, blew out a breath, and headed out. I left my car in the empty lot at the park, and hoped it didn't get towed or stolen, because then I'd have no choice but to crawl home and admit my life was a fucking disaster. Not something I relished the idea of, considering my parents and brother were all such high achievers. They all loved me, and I knew they'd help. My brother Travis would lose his mind if he found out I was living in my car, which is why I'd never tell him.